Hi everybody. If you're like me, you like nostalgia, and this looks like something that dropped out of your 1970s rumpus room. This is the Mufoli Retro Radio, and it's all about style. This thing has it all, from the simulated wood grain cabinet to the metallic looking knobs and dial, and the woven fabric speaker cover in glorious brown. It looks beautiful, but what is it? Well, oddly enough, it is not an AM radio. It looks like an AM radio. It should be an AM radio, but no, that feature's not present. What it does offer is an FM radio, and I thought it was delightful to manually dial in the frequency I wanted. There are no presets. There is no scan function. It's just you and glorious analog, and I love it. Also available somewhat inexplicably is a three and a half millimeter audio input feature. I have no idea what you would use that for, but it's there if you want it. There is a Bluetooth speaker on board and I found pairing very easy. That's not a problem. And lastly, there is a white noise generator and we'll talk more about that later. If you look very closely, you will see that these knobs are labeled. However, this has got to be one of the worst labeling designs I have ever seen on a product. White on gold is simply not readable under any normal conditions. However, these are old school analog controls and you can learn their function through positioning. This is your power and volume knob the white noise sound effect selector, and the function selector that allows you to switch between Bluetooth, FM radio, auxiliary input, and the white noise generator. On the rear of the device, we have the power cord, the white noise timer, either 30, 60, or 90 minutes. We have the 3.5 millimeter audio input port, the telescoping antenna, and the base port. I dim the lights to demonstrate a feature that I'm not sure is entirely necessary, but I like anyway. The light of the dial changes color depending upon which mode you're in. Right now I'm in FM radio mode, so it glows white. If I change to Bluetooth, it will blink blue until it pairs, and then it will be a steady blue. When I go to auxiliary input, it changes to green. And then if I go to the white noise generator, it will turn a cyan color. How does this speaker sound? Well, I would say you won't be disappointed. It sounds exactly the way you would expect a speaker like this to sound. It is a solid mid-range experience. There is not a lot of bass. The rear port does help, but it won't rattle your teeth. Similarly, there's not a lot of treble. It sounds good. It is not a high fidelity device, but it sounds good. This might sound a little ridiculous, but I think the quality and size of speaker directly affects the realism of the white noise generator. And maybe you don't expect realism, but uh, I think that the least effective sounds are the ocean waves and the babbling brook. I think you need both a lot of bass and stereo separation for that to be truly realistic. Uh, also, I wasn't too happy with the music box feature. The sound effect for the music box was very realistic and sounded good. However, it was a short song that just loops over and over and over again. That would just drive me nuts. So I wouldn't use any of those three functions. The most effective feature was the chirping birds and the crickets. I thought those sounded great. And lastly, there is the pure white noise generator, the static sound. That also sounded good too. I just wouldn't want to listen to that myself. How do I rate the Mufoil RA60S? I love it. I think it totally nails that 70s vibe. I love the analog controls. It feels like it was built to last. It sounds good. I think it hit all of its objectives, both in function and design. The only thing I didn't like was the labeling of the controls, but I think that's a minor quibble considering that they are dedicated single purpose controls and you can learn their function just by positioning. I'm going to give this a five out of five. I think it's a fantastic product and I think you'll like it as much as I do. Thanks for stopping by.